exploded star more than a hundred times more luminous than the sun. A halo of x-rays from the galaxy M87. Discoveries like these, made by a new science called x-ray astronomy, are changing some of our most basic notions of the universe, from a place of serenity to one where violence is the norm. The key to this knowledge was a satellite called Einstein. In a highly successful voyage between 1978 and 1981, it sent back over 5,000 images of x-ray sources in the sky. Here at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics in Cambridge, Massachusetts, these images are being probed. Astrophysicist Rick Harnden. The, the uh, lure of x-ray astronomy is that it looks at, at very different types of objects that, that regular optical astronomy, or even to some extent radio astronomy can do. The, the x-rays look into a, a different nature of, of the objects in the sky and, and therefore see different objects. And what x-rays see are the most violent and energetic objects in the sky, like pulsars, the incredibly dense cores of stars which have exploded. Rick Harnden, who has discovered two pulsars with the aid of the Einstein Observatory, made this film of the Crab Nebula pulsar. It radiates a thousand times more energy than our sun. It's what's called a neutron star and is left spinning by the explosion, so you have sort of a lighthouse there. And as the, as the star spins, this lighthouse beacon goes around and, and blips at you and radio and goes beep every time it goes around. Studying pulsars and exploded stars is a very basic concern of astronomers, for it's believed that our sun and the planets were formed of debris from a similar explosion billions of years ago. So the images gathered by the Einstein Observatory continue to provide clues to the nature and origin of our universe. Here at the Smithsonian, I'm Ann Carroll.